row then you have to press the code a b 2 1 a b and then the second code will last that is 1 9 0 2 5 then all your menus will come like this and first time it will be in Spanish so you have to press 0 and then it will it will tell you which one to choose for English see now for English it will be 1 so you have to just press 1 and then accept it it will become Spanish and then these are the menus like menu uh, sub menu and then in that you have to select decoders so you press 2 and then you have to select program individual decoders which is 1 and then you have to go to the particular decoder and there is a PGM button in the decoder so when you see the decoder when you come to the decoder there is there is this PGM button so you mm. press the PGM button and see this light will be on and here it will show this is 4 output decoder which means you have 4 output you have 4 output and 8 output so this is the first it is asking the address for the first one mm. so now you should know where this is connected to which apartment so suppose whichever apartment you can dial here you press B it will save and then it will ask for the second one second one what address you want to give this is your dialing address so mm. and then you can also write it here so that future your reference you know when somebody comes for maintenance they will know okay this one is going to apartment so and so so like this you keep entering after the fourth one it will automatically exit if it is eight way it lasts for one two three four five six seven eight then it will exit mm. and then again then now when you go to the next decoder do the same one again you press the um, individual programming which is one then you press the button so like yeah. that you have to set the when you press b it comes out and uh, you can even change the time and date because you see there is a time and date displayed here so when you go to the now you are in the decoder menu when you press b you go out you come to the main menu in the main menu there is configuration four so there when you go you will see the it will come messages configuration that you need i'm sorry it's not uh, users uh, it's in it's in users it's, sorry it's uh, four is configuration conversation time minimum minimum clock so when you press clock you can put the time date everything everything you can put the time and then you can save it so that when once you come out when you, when you keep pressing b it will come out when you press b you can see it'll, it will show the time and date then it it will display whatever your program there for them see now 28 11 2019 it will show like this yeah. so these are the things to be done now when you want to dial for an apartment now you suppose one your program one 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 okay so you just dial from here one 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 and you press this one it will call and then you take the handset speak to the person then you press the lock button it will open the lock you see here that message that's why you have you, that is the one you set it in english yeah, okay. once you close this it will disconnect the call so that's how we call it and when you press this button the center button the call will go to the guard unit and the guard unit you know it, it, it will tell you see there is a call from the entrance panel so you have to press the corresponding button see the guard unit panel button is there so you speak to the person and from here also when you press the lock button it will open the lock mm. okay so and you press the hash button it will cut the conversation and from the enter from the telephone if you want to call same way like the same door lock button when there is no call in the system when you press this button or even this one also when you press the same lock button it will give call to the guard unit so now see it is saying telephone symbol before it was showing the panel symbol and it is showing the call is coming from apartment so and so and then he has to call back the procedure is when you call from there you don't know no need to lift the handset you have to just press the button because you don't know whether the guard station is there yeah. so once the guard station is there he will call back he will acknowledge the call by pressing this one so this will again ring then he can take the phone and then he can communicate so that is how you do and then this button is for cutting the, yeah cutting the conversation so that is how you do the communication with the guard unit.